Each thought in your brain can have content associated with it. This includes notes, web links, and files. The content for the active thought appears here in the content area. There's always a space for a note where you can enter text or add pictures. Above the note, you'll see any web pages, files, or additional notes associated with the current active thought. In this area of my brain, I'm going to add some notes for a recipe that I've tried. First, let's talk about the content area toolbar. You have a button in the toolbar for a compact or expanded display. In compact display, all options are still available through drop-down menus. In the expanded display of the toolbar, you'll see a button or option for each individual formatting choice available. When you'd like to add some formatting to your notes, just select the text and apply the desired adjustment. Some of the key features in the toolbar include a text slider that will adjust the size of the text all at once. To apply paragraph styles, such as titles or headings, place your cursor anywhere in the line you'd like to change and select the desired style. There's no need to select or highlight the entire line. Paragraph styles can become helpful in large notes by collapsing or expanding sections of my note with the arrows on the left side of a formatted line, such as a title or heading. In addition to other formatting features that you're already familiar with, there are a few special features that I'd like to share. Checkboxes are convenient when you're making a list and you'd like to keep track of your progress. There's also a built-in command to insert the current date and time. The Brain's Notes Editor features a smart paste command that will recognize images or links to URLs that are pasted into a note. For example, here's an image that I'd like to add into my note. I'll just copy and paste it in. I can then select and resize. You can also add other content to thoughts that goes beyond simple notes. Whether it's a web page or a document, you can add almost anything into your brain. Click the Attach button to see options for adding other attachments. Let's talk about URLs first. To add a web page, you can type it in here but sometimes it's faster to drag and drop from your browser. Just drag from the address line of your favorite browser into the Plex to create a new thought. Hover over the existing thought to add it as an attachment. Drag it into the notes to create a hyperlink or just above the note to add as an attachment to this particular thought. When this attachment is selected, the web page will display in the Brain's built-in browser. You can also click here to open the attachment outside the Brain in your default browser, or click here to close the attachment and return to the thought's content area. File attachments can also be added via drag and drop. Once again, I can click and drag into a note to add as an attachment or into the Plex to create a new thought for each dropped item. I'll then click on the attachment to launch it in its native application. By default, using drag and drop for file attachments will create a copy of the original document. This can be modified in your brain's preferences on the behavior tab. In addition to adding existing files into your brain, you can also create new files from scratch via the Attach button. New files can be created from the Add File from Template option. If you don't see the file type you're looking for, return to the Attach button and click on Template Help to modify your own template list with customized documents. Thoughts are not limited to just a single note. Behind the scenes, notes are being formatted in Markdown, so clicking the Add Markdown file will essentially add an additional note to any thought in your brain. Adding notes, web pages, and documents can also be applied to links as well as thoughts. To add notes and attachments to links between thoughts, simply click on a link to select it and use the content area as you normally would. 
As you can see, notes and attachments are a flexible way to integrate information from many different sources together in your digital brain.